Hello everyone, I am going to talk about self-management in the new normal world. What was normal, which we used to consider before COVID-19 lockdown? We all were running and very busy in our life, running a rat race at the cost of peace of mind and our happiness. We all were very much stressed on time, putting a lot of pressures on natural resources, environment, and having all kind of unsustainable ways of living our lives. We all were fatigued and stressed out with so much of work pressure and so much of responsibilities around us. Then, then came coronavirus, because of which the whole world went into lockdown. And for three months, we all were into a lockdown. And now we consider this existence of coronavirus in and around our lives as the new normal. We have to live with it. So under this new normal COVID-19 lockdown scenario where we all have been in indoors, so what is the new normal? What is it all about? So all of us now understand that new normal is working from home. So all of us are managing our offices through our homes. Our Prime Minister has, ta has talked about Atmanirbhar. Atmanirbharta, exploring self-sufficiency. This is what we all have practiced during this lockdown period. Not only in terms of doing the domestic work, the household work on our own for which we were relying on others earlier, but also on, you know, when we were doing teamwork in offices, now we are trying to do become Atmanirbhar and try to do everything on our own. As societies, we are trying to uh, develop all the resources on our own so that, you know, we don't have to depend on others for that. This generation of millennials and the Gen Z, which we call, so they have never seen a crisis in their life. So the, for the first time, COVID-19 came up as a crisis and one way or the other, each one of us has been able to manage it and we understand how to manage crisis. Staying indoors and avoiding non-essential travel is the new normal. We avoid travel. Earlier, people were either going out for offices or were spending their time in vacations, traveling, and a lot of travel, tourism, entertainment industry was flourishing. But now, people avoid it. We all were using internet, but we were not using it the way we are using it now in the lockdown scenario. So connecting through the virtual world has become the new normal. We have understood the importance of and thank God these technologies were developed so that we could survive and the social media, the relevance of, uh, you know, the technology around us, how well we can connect even without physically meeting others. When this lockdown happened, we understood the importance of home. We realized that we were running after uh, money, we were running after our jobs and career, how important family is, how important staying at home is, how important our relationship with loved ones is, and how we should take care of our health. So all of these things became new normal. We understood the relevance of these things in our life. Now, these are the positive aspects, but yes, lockdown did affect us in a negative sense because a lot of People got unemployed. A lot of businessmen were out of business. Many There was no economic activity going on because of which many people have gone into stress. Even the student community who was ready to appear for or who was ready to go for next levels and get the placement, they are into a lot of stress because of it. So that stress needs to be managed. Apart from that, there are people who are feeling lonely, who don't have anybody to talk to, they are into depression or some other uh, things which are affecting them. So they all need to manage the stress. And we have understood that there are various ways how we can manage the stress. COVID-19 came as a change. It was a destructive change. And whenever change happens, it's not always in our hands to manage it. So we can't do anything about it, but we can just live with it and deal with it. And there are various ways how we can deal with it. Now, a few of the self-management tips which we can use or we have been using during this lockdown scenario. 
we all have understood the importance of better hygiene and social distancing norms. So now social distancing and hygiene has become the most important aspect. If we are able to manage it, maybe we will be safe from the uh, attack of this virus. Many people were earlier also using virtual technologies, but still they have adopted newer ways of using technology for their best, uh, for the best management of their lives and people have started using it more and more. We have realized that healthy mind lives in healthy body. So people has, have started using, has, have started taking care of their health. Earlier, somebody may say that, you know, I have no time to take care of my health. Now in this lockdown, we have got so much time that those who really want to take care of their health have started taking care of that health. Working on emotional quotient is very, very important during this phase because this is what is going to make us strong. So the understanding the importance of emotional quotient in our life has become important and people have realized the importance of becoming emotionally strong through taking help of your you know, relationships, talking to someone you love, talking to someone whom you feel, you know, your friends, or other people around, uh, doing some kind of meditation or spiritual, uh, you know, listening to some spiritual uh, messages helps. You need to work on your happiness quotient. So what makes you happy? One needs to understand. People have spent time on their own thinking about themselves that, you know, what brings happiness in life? Whatever I was doing, whatever we were doing earlier, was it bringing happiness to us? How can we change our life to bring happiness? Reskilling is very, very important if we talk about self-management at this point of time because we do not know what challenges life is going to come up with in times to come. And upskilling, self-improvement of our existing skills is very, very important. So we need to understand that all those people who were not earlier having any time and those people who have a lot of free time with them, they can look for reskilling and upskilling their skill set so that they are better prepared for jobs and for life to come in future. This lockdown and this virtual technology has helped us understand that, you know, there's world outside our work environment, outside our uh, you know, local cities and communities. So we can now look for global opportunities because a lot of this virtual world has come up with a lot of global opportunities. Practicing and hobby is also uh, very relevant at this point of time because this will bring in, uh, bring more peace, stability and uh, one can live uh, life with a lot of happiness if you practice, if you have some time to practice your hobbies. One very important thing which I would like to talk about is work-life balance. With this work from home culture that has suddenly come up and most of the time we have to be in work from home uh, scenario, one need to define a clear-cut balance between the work hours and the personal life. Otherwise, we will cut down our time on uh, the our health aspect, the you know lunch break, tea breaks, which we used to take in offices, we have stopped taking that because of that you know work life, uh, the work from home culture that has come. Now this can lead to burnout until and unless somebody doesn't strike a fine balance between how many work from home hours you're going to spend for work and how many hours you're going to spend on yourself. So ultimately, the basic tip for this. COVID-19 management of the new normal is stay connected, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.